Getty China conducts an average of five nuclear experiments a month while the U.S. less than once a month. The China Academy of Engineering Physics reported that between September 2014 and last December, China carried out around 200 laboratory experiments to simulate the extreme physics of a nuclear blast. In comparison, the U.S. only carried out 50 of such tests between 2012 and 2017. The report also revealed that China conducts an average of five nuclear experiments a month while the U.S. conducts them less than once a month. Experts warned that as China, the United States and Russia separately seek more targeted nuclear weapons to deter against potential threats, the risk of a nuclear conflict inevitably increases. Pentagon officials said the U.S. wants its enemies to believe it might actually use such weapons, which are smaller, tactically smarter and designed to destroy only specific targets limiting the damage. They are not as destructive and cannot eradicate entire cities like their predecessors could, they are still far more powerful than conventional weapons. Experts claim that precisely because of their safety, governments could be more likely to use them. A naval official based in Beijing said, the use of small warheads will lead to the use of bigger ones. He also added that even though it is not likely for China to actually use such weapons, it was not necessary for Beijing to develop them. He explained, if other countries use nuclear weapons on us, we have to retaliate. This is probably why there is research to develop new weapons. An international ban imposed in the 1990s prevents nuclear weapons from being tested, though North Korea has not followed the agreement. Getty North Korea did not follow the international ban which prevents nuclear weapons being tested in place of the real tests. Chinese scientists instead use high-powered gas guns that fire projectiles in the country's main nuclear design facilities under mountains in Mianyang, southwestern Sichuan province. China is currently creating new tactical nuclear weapons meant for close-range battles. However, according to Professor Wang Chuanbin from the Wuhan University of Technology, the large number of simulated tests conducted by China does not mean Beijing is ahead of the U.S. in nuclear weapons development. Mr. Chuanbin said the U.S. has detonated more than 1,000 nuclear warheads since 1945. In comparison, China has carried out only 45 live tests since 1964. Mr. Chuanbin admitted, it is possible we are in a hurry to catch up.